Welcome. This presentation is an overview on how developmental screenings are different from a kindergarten entry assessment, KEA. This presentation, you will see how both developmental screening and KEA are important and how the processes used to implement these tools build upon each other to help children be successful learners at home and school. The Office of Childhood has worked the last two years to provide early care and education professionals in the state of Missouri with information on how we can work together to support school readiness. The following presentation will assist parents, early childhood professionals, and school administrators in understanding the importance of providing developmental screenings and a kindergarten entry assessment. We will talk about the difference between a developmental screening versus a kindergarten entry assessment, the recommended tools for both developmental screenings and KEAs, and required reporting in MOSIS and Cordata. Based on the input from teachers, leaders, higher education staff, and state staff, we landed on a two-prong approach to school readiness. We need to continue and build on screening activities prior to kindergarten, but we also need a comprehensive assessment as soon as the child enters kindergarten. We spent hours discussing the distinction between screening and assessment, considering the comments from stakeholder meetings and the questions and comments we received through emails and phone calls. I think this was best explained by stakeholders advocating for how we know children learn. Children learn something new every day and they learn from everything they are exposed to in the context of their environment and caregivers. So when we are assessing the child's skills in March or April before the child goes to kindergarten, we're missing four or five months of learning. We're not really assessing if they are ready. At the end, we agreed educators need information about child's skills prior to kindergarten entry, as well as kindergarten entry. Only having one of these points in time is not enough. These activities for screening and assessment are different, but both play an important role in a child being ready for school. This approach really created a paradigm or a mindset shift for us here at the state office. This isn't where we thought we would end when we started thinking about school readiness activities, but it really makes sense if we think that only doing screenings before the child goes to school is enough. We really need to include what the child's skills and behaviors are at entry into kindergarten as an important part of school readiness. But this then required us to really define what a developmental screening is and what a kindergarten entry assessment is and what they both are not. A developmental screening is a formal process using a specific developmental screening tool. A screening can be administered to children prior to kindergarten entry by local school district's parent educator, early childhood program, or healthcare provider. It is recommended a child be screened at 9, 18, and 30 months of age and annually thereafter until a child enters kindergarten. Developmental screenings are used to inform families and professionals of a child's current development, strengths, and any areas of need. They can also assist in identifying possible delays that may need further evaluation. When families work together with early childhood professionals, they're connected to resources and or community services to promote continued growth, which prepares a child for school readiness. Kindergarten entry assessment is an assessment tool that serves as an indicator of a child's skills and behaviors that can set a baseline for school readiness. Using KEA data can help inform teachers and leaders of the number of children who are ready for school overall as well as support instruction by meeting students where they are when they enter kindergarten. The use of a KEA is not federally or state mandated, although about 40 states have adopted some form of this assessment. So to learn more about what a kindergarten entry assessment is, we went back a few years to 2011, when the Race to the Top Early Learning Challenge program required states to plan for and begin implementing KEAs to promote school readiness. This requirement established a common and widely used definition of KEA and its characteristics. KEA should cover the five essential domains of school readiness, like language and literacy development, cognition and general knowledge, social and emotional development, approaches to learning, and physical well being and motor development. It should also align with the state's early learning and child development standards, be administered within the first few weeks or months of kindergarten and be reliable and valid so the results can be trusted. And of course, use results to support instruction and inform families. 
After discussing the two-prong approach for school readiness, the stakeholder group quickly realized the need to better define screening versus assessment and the distinction between the purpose and the properties of each. We developed a series of charts like this on your screen here to help compare and contrast screening and kindergarten entry assessments. First, every child should have a screening at least once a year prior to entering kindergarten. But a KEA is likely only completed one time and that's when the child first enters kindergarten. A screening is usually brief and inexpensive because it's a snapshot of the child's abilities. On the other hand, an assessment at kindergarten is more in depth. It usually costs more, but it also provides much more description of the child's abilities, strengths, and challenges. And finally, screening tools are designed as norm reference tools, meaning that they compare and rank the child to other children based on the population in which the tool was normed. However, on on the other hand, a KEA is designed to be criterion referenced, which means it compares the child's performance to a set of standards or criteria. This is an important distinction when you're talking about measuring school readiness. You want results to show the child's performance compared to a set of standards. We spent several meetings talking about the purposes of screening and assessment. For screening, the purpose is to determine if the child's development is on track or if further assessment or evaluation is needed. This information can inform other professionals working with the child at the child's skills and abilities, health and development. On the other hand, a kindergarten assessment can help inform the instructional practices a teacher uses in the classroom or in an individualized supports and activities for a particular child. This kind of assessment can also inform the district and the state in their policies about developmentally appropriate practices, social emotional learning, professional development, and other important topics. For both tools, an important purpose is the opportunity to use this information to inform the parents, family members, and other caregivers about the child's health and development, what the child is doing well, and what the child may need some help doing. Both a screening tool and a KEA can provide information regarding children's development, but a KEA is more of a comprehensive summary since it focuses on all ranges of abilities, not just one of those that may be at risk for falling behind. All of this information is so valuable to the family and helps create a strong homeschool connection, which we know is important for children to grow and learn at home and at school. We also know when we can engage families in their child's learning at a young age, families will continue to be engaged in later school years and family engagement is so important for a child's success in school. One of the biggest distinctions from our current practice and where we're going in the future is who administers a developmental screening or a KEA. In this area, there is quite a variety of possible professionals for screening activities, such as the district's parent educator, child care provider, preschool teacher, health care provider, or early childhood special education teacher. But for a KEA, the primary person who administers this assessment is the kindergarten teacher and is completed as part of the direct activities and observations of all the students in the classroom. In some cases, it may be appropriate for the teacher who primarily works with a student who has a disability to complete the assessment. But this should be in conjunction with the kindergarten teacher when the student is in the classroom for any part of the school day. There are currently four developmental screening tools that focus on general development and social emotional development that are recommended by DESE's Office of Childhood. The DIAL-4, ASQ-3, and ASQ-SE-2, Brigant's Early Childhood Screens-3, and the DECA Infants, Toddlers, or Preschoolers. Recently updated screening information and resources are available for professionals on the Early Connections Professional webpage listed on the bottom of this slide. There are currently three KEA tools recommended by the DESE Office of Childhood, the Kindergarten Observation Form, the KOF, Brigant's Inventory of Early Development 3 Standardized, and the Desired Results Developmental Profile for Kindergarten Essential, DRDPK. Recently updated KEA information is available for professionals on the KEA section of the Office of Childhood Quality Programs webpage listed on the bottom of this slide. The information that's included is resources such as recommended KEA tools documents with links to the individual tool publisher websites and the KOF pilot program information that is currently going on in Missouri. Because both the developmental screening and a KEA help build upon school readiness, 
Information is collected to help make data informed decisions. How the data is collected for both is different. Developmental screening information is collected and reported at the district or program level and not entered into most of student level data. The information gathered should be shared with families to continue to assist in their child's development and give additional resources that should be provided by the entity giving the developmental screening to help guide families. As for the KEA, the data collection is used to determine overall kindergarten readiness, which is required to be reported for the October cycle and the state MOSIS system student level data. It is entered by school administrators or staff for kindergarten students. Overall kindergarten readiness consists of five essential domains of school readiness, such as physical well being and motor, social and emotional, cognition and general knowledge, approaches toward learning, and language and literacy. The KEA assessment tool used by the district is reported in the DESE core data system in the October cycle on screen 36, kindergarten readiness. To assist with required reporting, additional information is available in the reference manual for MOSIS and core data at the bottom of this slide. Thank you for participating in this webinar. If you have any additional questions about developmental screenings or kindergarten entry assessments, please feel free to contact the Office of Childhood.